Arizona Mining was already drilling to improve an existing silver deposit when they came across some interesting results. We were able through drilling to increase the size of that from 50 million contained ounces of silver up to about 280 million contained ounces of silver. When Don Taylor got involved, what he saw was mineralization was getting deeper going towards the northeast, that it was going from an oxide material to a sulfide material. The lead zinc grades were increasing, and lo and behold, after putting a few drill programs together, we've, we've hit what we think is one of the finest lead zinc deposits on the planet. What intrigued me about this one is uh, you could see it was growing to be big. It's bigger than I ever imagined it already, and we still haven't found the edge of it. Company management credits Don Taylor with the find. Don is a seasoned geologist who obtained his geology degree from Southeast Missouri State and a master's from the University of Missouri Rolla School of Mines. His 38 years of exploration experience helped them achieve success. In recognition of the accomplishment, they named the deposit after Don. We think it's a great acknowledgement. This deposit and even this award is all about uh, Don's brilliance and his, and his dogged determination to basically find a world-class deposit. Interestingly, we, we played some games, and this, this dates back to the middle part of 2014, literally drew some lines on a map and wrote on the map that we thought there might be 90 million tons of 10% zinc equivalent in the area. It's all worked out and it actually looks like we're going to, we, we've already exceeded the 90 million tons we predicted. And so that's the two deposits that we're working on right now is, is the Taylor Sulfide and the Taylor Deeps. Both continue to grow with, with every drill hole. Don says it was having a great team that made success possible. It's such a, a wonder to work with good people. And I've been blessed to work with several good exploration groups around, but the one we've got here in Arizona is top. Being on private land allowed the project to move along quickly. Once we started outlining the Taylor deposit, we're having a hard time finding out the parameters of it and how big this is. So in order to do that, we've had to add more drills. And at this point, it's got 15 rigs going. Uh, we have a couple hundred people on site. This one has gone from being a discovery to we'll have it in production within basically five or six years, which I think is remarkable. We actually uh, started the first drill hole targeting the sulfide in August of 2014. We announced our first resource in March of 2016, and uh, we finished our PEA in March, late March of 2017. So literally in basically a span of two years, we've drilled off a world-class deposit. Well, right now we're trying to put some parameters on the size of it for our feasibility study, which will be in June. Once we get through feasibility, then, you know, again, we'll be all the way along applying for, for permits and look to start construction in about 2020. Once the mine is built, it will be an underground operation. Currently, plans are underway to start a decline into the deposit in the second quarter of 2018. As work continues, so does optimism for the future. The ore body itself is on maybe 200 acres. We have focusing on about 500 acres right now, but you know we're just under 10,000 acres here. This is a big district play, and that's what's really exciting is, you know, is there gonna be another one of the tailors out there? We're working on really one deposit right now. We believe we're in a district scale camp, and that we'll see more than one deposit in the camp before it's over with.